Hey everybody, it's Chris with ChrisBello.com and I'm coming at you from my balcony over in Bali, Indonesia right now. The sun is setting, it's extremely beautiful. My girlfriend and I spent a full day in a place called Changu. I'm even wearing this cool Bali tank that I got with the Bintang or whatever the popular beer is. I've had a few while I was here. But today I wanna to talk real quickly about how to find your passion. Of course, the goal after finding your passion to monetize that passion and figure out how to make money doing something that you love. The best way I think, in my opinion, to find something you're passionate about is to think about something that you love so much that you could blog about it or vlog about it or even podcast about it at least three times a week for the rest of the year or actually for a full year, ideally, at least a year. Some people say even three to five years. If you can find something that you could talk about for free for that period of time with consistency without getting burned out, that is something that you're probably passionate about. I actually was thinking and brainstorming about things that I was potentially passionate about because I wanted to make a niche website. I wanted to make like a travel site or a site on drums. I used to be a huge drummer since fifth grade is when I started. Played a lot in middle school, high school, kind of died out a little bit in college, and then I really haven't been playing that much anymore the last few years. It's just not that interesting to me anymore. So that was something that I thought about, and then I realized it's not really a passion for me now in this day and age. I'm more passionate about self-development and reading books and making a podcast and creating content and things like that. So my passions have shifted. When you find yourself losing time and you're in that state of flow, that is something you're passionate about. Are you passionate about shooting guns or traveling or exercising? It's pretty easy to pinpoint something in your life that you lose track of time with, and that is something you're probably passionate about. And the coolest thing about when you find something you're passionate about is finding a way to make money doing that thing. So unfortunately, a lot of us do things for work that we don't love to do in order to fund the things that we love to do. We like to do all sorts of things that require money and we have to work a job that we hate in order to pay for those things. The goal is to find something you love and get paid to do that. So like right now with my podcast and my YouTube videos and all that, I'm doing it because I love it and I don't mind talking about it and taking the time to actually create the content without expectation of getting paid. I'm not trying to monetize it or put advertisements, advertisements on it right away. I'm just spending time adding as much value as I can and then I'm going to obviously create some kind of products or services or something that makes sense and fits for the message that I have, the audience that I have, in order to monetize it down the road. But at this time, monetization is not my key focus. If I try to just push ads down your throat, you would stop watching the video right now, whereas I'm just trying to add valuable content so that you enjoy the video and then maybe I have a call to action with like an affiliate link so I can get paid at the end of the day if whatever I'm referring you to makes sense. Real estate is something I've always been passionate about, interested in, and fortunately, I have been able to do that as my main gig right now. I spend all of my time doing real estate stuff. I go look for leads, off-market properties. I negotiate with sellers and with realtors to find properties like that. And it's been interesting to be able to actually for, uh, melt my passion together with my income-generating source. Once you identify a passion, you need to Figure out how can you get paid to do that thing? How can you add enough value to somebody else for something you're passionate about where you're able to get paid for that thing? Like if you love graphic design and you love video editing and you can find clients that will pay you to do something that you love, bingo, you've won the jackpot. Now make sure also when you're looking for passion and goals that they are yours, not your parents, not your friends. Maybe your parents always wanted you to be a doctor and you wanted you to go to med school or become a lawyer, but you don't want to become a lawyer. You don't want to become a doctor. Don't follow those things because they're not your dreams. They're your parents' dreams or your family members' dreams. And the thing is, whenever you follow a dream that is not yours or goals that aren't yours, you're going to find yourself unhappy, stressed out, burned out. You're not going to be able to go for the long run because you're not truly interested in that thing. So really make sure to pick something that you love, that you want to do, and that you can spend your time doing for free potentially until you're able to monetize that and figure out how to make a living doing that thing. Like the saying goes, if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Well, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to go check me out on chrisbello.com. Go check out my podcast, The Entrepreneur Motivation Podcast. The sun is setting here. I've got to get rinsed off so I can go do some shopping over here in Bali, as well as grab some dinner with my girlfriend. We've got a very long day tomorrow. I think we have 
a massage at 11.30 a.m., so it's going to be extremely stressful. I need to prepare for that. But all jokes aside, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.